Hello, today I'm going to talk about dead nettles. The three most common ones are the red dead nettle and the white dead nettle and these ones yellow archangel. Although within their genus, Lamium, there are about 50 different species. The word Lamium comes from the Greek lemos, meaning throat, due to the shape of the flower. Dead nettles are one of the first flowers to come out at the beginning of the year and some of the last to die at the end. They are at their best now though, in April. Their arrow-shaped leaves resemble those of a stinging nettle with their serrated edges, but have softer hairs that do not sting. This is possibly a visual defence mechanism. And of course, they have those lovely white ruffs of flowers that encircle the stem of the leaf nodes. This one is yellow archangel. It's a variegated variety that's often grown in gardens, but it's very invasive as it has underground stems which have roots on them. The flowers themselves are fantastic though. And if you crush the leaves, they give off an astringent smell. This smell is a mix of volatile organic hydrocarbons called germacrines and is key to their success. One whiff of germacrine A drives ants away, whilst germacrine D for bees is irresistible. The flower is designed to be pollinated by bees with a ledge on the front for it to land on by the tweezers and then as it puts its proboscis down into the throat of the flower the anthers at the top there deposit pollen on its back and head which it can then transfer to other dead nettle flowers. Furthermore, in folk medicine, dead nettles have held an uplifting place. Culprepper wrote, A distillation of the flowers is reputed to make the heart merry, make a good colour to the face, and to make vital spirits more fresh and lively. This being rather general was viewed with scepticism until recently, when further analysis of the chemistry of the plants has revealed that they are antimicrobial, antiviral and anti-cancer. Not such dead nettles after all. So, pick some young heads and put them into some salad or stir fry them to stay healthy.